What's going on everyone? It's me, Mikey Pipes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm heading to a, an emergency service call. It's Saturday evening, a little after seven o'clock on October 14th, 2023. Uh, an existing customer, they have a Rheem gas-fired furnace that isn't producing any heat. Uh, they don't wanna wait until Monday. Uh, I try to convince them to listen, you know what? If it was a boiler, 99% of the time, I can get them up and running. That 1% of the time, when it's that like power vented boiler with that inducer motor assembly, just like a furnace, you know, if that's dead, <laughs> um, not much I could do for you on, uh, on an after hour service call, unless I open up like Sid Harvey's or another supply house and schlep over there and get the part, but um, it is what it is. So um, hopefully I'll be able to get some great content and um, guys, let's fix this together. And one of the things that I'm gonna be doing differently on this service call is that I am gonna be incorporating the use of House Call Pro, which is gonna be our new mobile dispatching, invoicing and payment receiving app uh, that we use for Pipe Doctor Home Services. Uh, you know, for over 11 years, we've been using ServicePal, which is a great app. Uh, it's very simplified, but unfortunately, it won't allow me to scale my business in, in the direction that I want to go, which is substantial growth. So um, I got this app As you can see, I got my on my way for four minutes and 20 seconds already. There's a picture of the house. It gives me the value. gives me the year built. Uh, it also gives me the customer's name, information, and service history. It's nice because this helps me identify the home if I'm not familiar with it or I can't find the number. It's nice to see a picture of the home already. So that's a really nice touch uh, with House Call Pro. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Here for your heat. Yep. You got none of it, yes? I'm here for, the, I'm here for my heat, too. Oh, okay. Only I know that we did it. No, no, no bueno, huh? We're cold. He didn't know we were cold, but we're cold two days straight. <laughs> so just as a, a, a little background. Okay. We were away. All right. When the, when the rains came, the big ones. Oh. And there was water in the basement. How much water did you have in the basement? Under here, what was left was not too terrible, but enough. So you weren't home when the floods came? No. All right. Blessing in disguise, I guess. Uh, yes, it was. Terrible. But how high did the water come, do you know? I don't think it was that high. Okay. That's weird, because there's no sign of the water having come down a wall. So it's kind of like it comes from underneath. Okay. In and of itself. Ground water. Yeah. In and of itself. High water table. A very, very weird thing. But it's possible. Okay. Let's see. We also have the basement. Brand new. All right. And be careful because it's popping up. Yeah, I see that. All right. So you just got back and the heat's not working and now I'm here. Pretty much if you wanted to really cut to the chase, I guess that's the truth. <laughs> I gotcha. And okay. Let's open it up and see what happens. Because neither of us are skilled in any way, shape, or form. Got so some leaves in here. It was just the... <laughs> Oh, I smell a burnt. Huh? I smell something burnt. No. I think we have probably a burnt transformer. So let's uh, turn that off there. Let's open this up and let's see what we see. Is there enough light in here? Is there enough light? Yeah, we'll make, we'll make the... All right, so I really don't see much evidence of any water okay. in here. Um, you have a filter on the other side. I like to pull that out and see. Um, transformer here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go find the fuse. There's our fuse and fuse is she looks okay with the test that though for sure 
Hmm. All right, can't find my switcheroo, so we're holding down the door switch with my thumb, and we have an error code of 57. Let's see what 57 is. All right, talk to the group chat. Pressure switch issue or flu restriction. So I got a burning smell. It seems to be coming from the inducer assembly. So let's do a turn power on, hit the door switch, and we got my test leads to my fluke multimeter and 122 volts. Error still 5.7 there. So we're getting power to the inducer. And let's yep. see. So there's power. And relay closes for inducer. She's not spinning. She's toast. So there's, there's most things we can fix. Like 90% of the time, if you had a boiler, for example, right. no problem. Like regardless of what it is, un, un, like, unless it comes to the exhaust. Like when we're dealing with means to, of a mechanical removal of exhaust gases, which is what I'm going to tell you about is about... I'm about to tell you is dead on your furnace. Uh, that's one thing that even if I had a tractor trailer, I pull up to your house and try to trailer for parts, I still probably wouldn't have it. So there is a part on your furnace called an inducer assembly, or let's call it the, the, the blower. All right, it, it sucks the gas uh, through the furnace and up the, out the white pipes to outside. Okay. It like pushes the exhaust out. So that gets power first, and then it turns everything else on. So it's getting power, and it's not doing anything. It's dead. And that's the burning smell that I smell. So unfortunately, you know, out of the, the one thing I hate about working with furnaces, like, you know, like, as a service person, is that after hours, like, if this is dead, it's impossible. Now, if you wanted, I could probably find you this tonight. But you will pay an arm or leg for it because I'm going to call a supply house that opens for you know, after hours. There's a hundred dollar fee involved in that. We have to drive there and hopefully they have it. Um, but you're better off just waiting until Monday. Um, this is a ream furnace, right? Ream. Pretty sure it was a ream. Okay, yeah, it's a ream. Coming down the stairs, the first thing I heard was unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. So <laughs> I, I I honestly believe, based on what I'm visually seeing, is that in the rainstorm that we had last week. Um, that unforeseen water, but there's evidence on the fresh air pipe going to the machine and going to that, or, or the exhaust going to the machine. I'm, I'm almost can guarantee water got into there and a, an astronomical amount of water got into it and burnt it out, more than likely. And it's also evident by the leaves that are inside here. Oh, lovely. So, we had, we had insane rain. Yeah. I mean, I know, I saw Yeah. That. Um, and, I don't see and I don't see any water damage inside the furnace itself. Like the control board or the, or the motherboard of the furnace is literally like like three quarters of an inch off the floor, like yeah. right there. Like here's the control board. If you want to take a look, <laughs> and like here's your 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 you know your your flooring, but it's actually down a little bit. But it's literally like I can put my finger in there. That's about it. So if uh -huh. if there was any water da uh, visible marks here, I would see it, but I don't see any. So I think we're okay with the control board, but this is that control or that blower that's that's dead. And when I first took the cover off, I smelled something burning. And that was that. It's getting power, but it's not running. You have a pump here. All right, so here we are on the side of the house. And just as expected, there is the fresh air, sorry, the exhaust on the left-hand side. See, there's the pipe coming from the furnace right there, comes straight out to here. The one on the right, that's the fresh air. And that's exactly what happened water trickled right down in there and uh blew out that motor we had torrential downpour here last month uh, last friday <sighs> crazy crazy um we're gonna want to probably put a 45 on that yeah we can put a street 45 in there with a three inch screen and that'll solve that problem on monday ladies and gentlemen i jinxed myself i really 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 jinxed myself the one component on a gas furnace that my company can't fix during a regular service call, even after hours service call, while we're there on the spot, an inducer assembly failure. Ah! It pisses me off. But, you know what? You can blame premature failure 
not only on God, Mother Nature, but, but, calling a spade a spade, the original installing contractor. Ah. Uh, oh! All right, so I am now heading to the shop. It is 7.33 in the evening. Uh, we had a lot of rain today. Not that much rain, but we had a lot of rain today. And I just want to double check uh, the roof condition, make sure that there's no water on the floor of our uh, new facility on Central Avenue in Woodmere. I don't think there is, but um, I figured I might as well. I'm out. Might as well just go check. It's not too far away. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, quick little troubleshooting. You know, diagnosing, inducer motor failure, error 57. Again, um, the error code list wasn't available, um, wasn't there on the machine, but I reached out to my WhatsApp group chat. I'm hitting the horn a little bit here. Come on, you can make a turn on red here, buddy. <laughs> you can make a turn on red here. Reached out to the group chat and quickly got an answer in seconds. So thanks, guys. Huge shout out to the Mikey Pipes WhatsApp group chat. Much appreciated. Look, it's better than blue on. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.